Hello, I'm AxelMC131 and welcome back to Behind the Blocks in Minecraft 1.8. And today I have a uh, pretty damn simple mechanic to show you guys. Um, this I threw together um, just the other day on my laptop and basically just um, copied the commands over into my um, main commands world. Um, so what I have here is a system to make um, bows zoom in if you stand still uh, while holding a bow. So if I just uh, let that start running. Um, if I hold if I hold this bow normally, I can walk around, and I can fire it off normally while I'm walking. Nothing will happen. However, if I stand still, and then hold and and stay standing still for a moment, um, it will eventually. Wow! I broke it. Uh, Mulligan. We'll start again. Anyway, as I was saying, so what I have created here is a system that when you are standing still and holding a bow in your hand, your vision will zoom in. And that's because I'm using the slowness 10 effect again. Uh, so you can see that's happening there, and my vision is zooming in. Now this is purely uh, aesthetic, it's not at all functional, because if you're holding a bow like this, you can aim pretty easily, but when it zooms your vision in, it's much harder to aim. Like, I'm gonna try and shoot that helicopter, so I'd aim about here. Well short. Um, so it's, it's, makes it thoroughly difficult to aim, but useful if you want to zoom in, look closer at things in the distance. Um, so I'll show you, um, how this works. So very quickly here, we have a set block clock, um, running, um, here. We have two commands here, which are activating a scoreboard. We have two scoreboards we need here. The first one is scoreboard objectives add, um, and it's called hold bow, and it's just a dummy objective. And you can see that I have it on the right hand side, and you'll notice that when I go to, when it, I'm holding a bow, it goes to one. And if I'm not holding a bow, it goes back to zero. Uh, so what we're doing there is we're testing for a player with a bow. So to do that, we've got these two um, command blocks running. Scoreboard players set all players hold bow score to one if their selected item is uh, ID Minecraft bow. Very simple. And then the other side, we're just going to set all players hold bow score back to zero. You may require some timing to adjust this, um, because it might prioritize one over the other. You want it to prioritize the set to one first. So you can see that when I hold the bow, it goes to one. Uh, occasionally it'll flash zero, and that's just to do with timing. Anyway, uh, the other scoreboard we need to create is scoreboard objectives add. Uh, it's just called walk, and it is a stat dot walk one centimeter, like that. Uh, and that is going to see how far you're walking. Now, at the moment, I've got that in the list um, displays, you can see. And when I walk, it goes up. Uh, and now what I have on this hopper clock here is that on this tick, this command block is setting my walk, all players' walk score to zero. So every opposing um, tick of that um, hopper clock it sets it back to zero. So you can see when I'm walking around normally, I can get up to about 300 centimeters uh, of walk distance. If I'm holding shift, it'll only go up to about, there you go, it doesn't even reach 100. Anyway, so what we're testing for on the other side of that hopper clock is we're going to um, affect all players with a hold bow minimum score of one and a walk score of zero, no greater than zero. And we're gonna affect them with slowness 10 for one second Hide particles is true. So what that means is that we're affecting a, pl a player with slowness if they're holding a bow and they have a walk score of zero. Now, normally, if I'm holding this bow and I walk around, that gets set to zero on this side, but when it gets around to the other side, I've already been walking a bit, so it's back up at about, I don't know, 100 or so. So it doesn't actually work. Now, you'll notice that when you jump, it automatically sets it to zero. So that's something to bear in mind. Also, when you fly, this is not walking. Flying is not walking. So it won't change it if you're flying. Um, and if you're jumping like that. So you can see it does that. So that's worth bearing in mind. Um, but if you're just walking around, it will keep setting it up. So if you are stationary and it stays at zero, and you are holding a bow, then it will give you the effect of slowness. And it will then zoom you in. Now all you have to do to cancel, cancel that is just choose another item. That's it. Switch to another item slot. Very simple. Uh, and the way that I'm doing that is that I'm effect I am clearing the slowness effect from anyone with a hold bow score of zero. So if they're not holding a bow, it's going to clear all slowness effects. All of them. Um, 
So even if I'm walking around, no, nothing, stay still, and there we get the zoom. Cool. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Very simple mechanic. Uh, I'm thinking of putting this into uh, like custom survival world. Lots of ideas for those sort of things, but this could be a neat little addition. Just, just for a little bit of fun. And also so you can zoom in on distant things again without needing the custom telescope. <laughs> I like this better than the telescope. It feels more into the feel of Minecraft. Ah, and you don't need a custom texture pack. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's all there is to it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been MC 131 and I'll see you next time.